Today marks one month since three students were killed, five wounded at Michigan State University. A planned walkout to display the impact of the shooting had on the community. It was postponed today due to weather and rescheduled for Sunday. Students and staff were also greeted with new security measures when they arrived back on campus after spring break today. Most buildings now require key card access from 6 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. More than 1,300 classrooms are in the process of being equipped with locks and additional security cameras have been installed on campus. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham in East Lansing with how students are reacting to the changes. I spoke with several students here at Michigan State University who say the new security measures are a step in the right direction. Artic Chowdhury, an international student, walked MSU's campus today with an added sense of security. Today, MSU started new security measures throughout campus in light of the tragedy of February 13th. I feel like those measures should have been in place, like even before anything had happened. Like Now that it's there, I feel like people will feel much more secure staying on campus. It makes it um, easier on the students because they feel more safe. This is something that probably should have been in place. A while ago like and it shouldn't take something like this for people to realize that the first major change students will notice starting this evening the doors to academic buildings will be locked in the evening through the early morning hours all of our students fac faculty and staff will need their spartan id uh, to access those buildings so that's the first security measure um, second measure is we've announced that we'll be installing uh, locks for classrooms, approximately 1,500 classrooms on campus. Uh, we're going to start installing locks in those with a anticipated completion date of next fall. Interim Deputy Chief Chris Rosman with MSU Public Safety says the school will also require students, staff, and faculty to undergo mandatory active assailant training starting in the fall. And more cameras will be added to the 2,000 cameras already on campus. All measures, he says, were taken into consideration following conversations with students and staff following February 13th. Well, Michigan State is a very large place. Uh, it's about 6,000 acres, approximately 600 buildings. Um, this is a big place. Uh, our own water plant, our own power plant, we're essentially a city within itself. And so it's a challenge to work at um, securing our entire campus, but we do a very good job and we're always looking at ways to improve. In East Lansing, Darren Cunningham, 7. Action News.